Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to route in video conferencing calls from Skype, from Zoom, Google Hangouts, whatever you're using, Slack, Microsoft Teams. It all works exactly the same. You can route the audio from those calls into a suite digital mixer that comes for free with the Elgato Wave 1 microphone. What do I mean? Bring in that audio from the call and capture everybody's voices. Then bring in your mic into the call, capture that as a part of the mix. Bring in some music if you want. Throw in some game audio. Do a presentation. Whatever you want to do, it can all be digitally mixed here in the Wavelink software that comes for free with this microphone. Free if you buy the mic. Cool? Here's step number one. Open up your call. So I'm gonna use Zoom here. Open up a call and join with somebody else if you can. If you have to join with just yourself, pull open the desktop version of the video conferencing software and then pull open your phone to be the other person on the other side. That may or may not work depending on your software and whether you have multiple accounts. Preferably, you jump on a call with somebody else while you're setting this up for the very first time. That's step one. Step two, you have your Wavelink software installed, your firmware going, your mic plugged in, if you haven't done all the basic setup to get to the step, watch my previous tutorial videos on that. Empty channel in Wavelink, click the plus button, then go to AUX1. Here under AUX1, I recommend changing this to something that makes sense to your brain. For me, it's going to be a Zoom, but you can choose whatever you want it to say. Mine will say Zoom, you can choose Google Hangouts or whatever. Got it? I'm going to mute my monitor mix so we don't have feedback. For me, you don't have to do that. That's step two. Step three, you need to route all of this through your computer. So how do you do that? On Windows, you're gonna go ahead and type sound here in the search bar. And then once you type in sound, you'll see sound mixer options down there. Click sound mixer options, and it'll bring up this confusing menu. Don't worry, I'll make it simple for you. Just scroll down. And then this is why we opened your video conferencing software before we got to the step is so that the source is now activated in your system and we can now mix it accordingly. So for most, so if you chose AUX1 in your Wavelink software, choose it here under the top bar here and choose it here under the top bar here. You may or may not get two sources depending on your video conferencing software. So don't sweat it if you don't have two versions of it here. Depends on your software. AUX1 for the top bars. For most of you guys, in most applications, you're gonna to wanna to choose mic in for the second bar. Just follow me. I'll explain why in just a minute. Got it, aux one on the top, mic in on the bottom. Check. Now, go to your video conferencing software of your choice and go to wherever the menu is in your video conferencing software where you choose your input and your output, your microphone and your speakers right? So in Zoom, it's down here. You pick wherever that is in your software. Got it? So here under microphone, I've chose mic in because that's what I did in the system settings. Under speaker, I chose Wavelink aux one because that's what I did in the system settings. Make sure you match the settings here in the software versus what you did in your system settings. For 90% of you guys, job's done everything's gonna work great. So people in your conference call are gonna hear only your microphone, and you are going to see their levels pumping in right here through Zoom or whatever source you're done here, doing here, and you can record them, you can monitor them, you can do everything, which is great. Job's done. They're gonna hear you, you're gonna be able to record them, they're gonna come into your digital audio mixer, everybody's happy. Now, for those of you that want to do something more complicated, which most of you guys probably do, or some of you guys do, here's how you do the more complicated version. So let's say that your vision for what's going on here is that you are in your home studio or whatever, you're doing a presentation, maybe you're playing back music, maybe you are adding some other audio elements and you want people to hear a more complicated audio mix with more sources than just your microphone. Here's the best way to do that. What you're going to do is you are going to make sure that you have unmuted the microphone, the monitor mix right here. And in your system settings, we're going to go through the monitor mix instead of going through the mic in. 
So we're gonna change it from mic in to wavelength monitor and mic in to wavelength monitor. Then in your, um, so, and then in your uh, video conferencing software, you are gonna make that change as well to match. So go to where you choose your microphone in your video conferencing software and choose Wavelength Monitor. Now, why did we do Wavelength Monitor? I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible and not confuse you. The Wavelength software allows us to do two mixes, your monitor mix and your stream mix. Your monitor mix is down here and your stream mix is right here. Your monitor mix volume level and, and monitoring is here in each channel, and your stream mix is right here for each channel. So the reason why we wanna do the monitor mix is that you can route a specific audio configuration through the monitor mix by changing volume levels on each cha channel for monitor mix, or muting each channel for monitor mix, while letting everything else pump through the stream mix. So let's say you're trying to live stream whatever's happening on the call or record whatever's happening on the call. You can record the stream mix separately. Why would you want to do that? So the reason why is that you probably don't want to pump back through uh, to the audience that's watching on, um, on your video conferencing software. You don't want to pump their own audio back into their own ears, right? they probably won't like that. So if you choose monitor mix, what you can do is you can mute their audio here under monitor mix and their audio won't be going through the monitor mix and pumping back into their themselves. You won't be causing a feedback loop. You won't be sending the people talking on Zoom in this example or your meeting back into them because you muted the monitor mix from going back into their ear, got it? but their audio is still going through the stream mix, so you can record it and you can live stream it. Now, if you're getting confused to be like, what? If I muted the monitor mix for the call I'm on, how do I hear anybody? Great question. So what you're gonna do right here is instead of clicking the ear button on the monitor mix, we're going to click the ear button on the stream mix down here instead. I'm not gonna do that because that's not gonna work for my recording, but you can do that which means that you will be listening to the stream mix while you're on the call with everybody, but everybody on the call is gonna hear your monitor mix. And what this does is it allows you to play everything that you're having here, going here on your mixer to everybody on the call, but themselves, because you don't want, they don't wanna hear their own voices played back to them, and that's why you're muting it right here. Got it? So you've switched all those inputs over to monitor mix, you mute the headphones here, and you switch the ear to this ear right here instead of this ear right here. And now you can do a fancy pants presentation where everybody can hear you. They can hear everything that's going on in your digital audio mixer, but they don't hear themselves. And you can take that entire mix and you can live stream it and you can record it. That is the, let's say, professionals version of this that many people have booked me for on consulting calls. Hopefully that was clear. Go back and watch the explanation again if it was not and just mirror my settings and it'll just freaking work. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to pick up the Elgato Wave 1 mic, I've got links below as well as the official accessories. Adios amigos.